And Sean, thank you for continuing to share the minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Go overboard, perhaps. <laughs> to the June uh, 15th Asia Pacific community call. I will share my screen. Let's see. Uh, I got the right one. All right, so a few things today. Um, the first and it's at the bottom there, but just so you all know, we're not going to have uh, really chaos meetings for the next two weeks. So we won't have the Asia Pacific call in two weeks and we won't have the metrics model call in a week. So there's OSSNA is happening and then it's pretty close to the US 4th of July, which is a time we normally take off anyway. And so anyway, there's just no meetings for two weeks. Uh, but that said, if you are doing mentorship, that, that should still continue. Um, and if you do feel like meeting, that's not a problem at all, um, but we're just, the majority of our meetings are not going to happen. So um, with respect to mentorship, the first item we have here is around um, the conversion rate metric model, which if I'm not mistaken, Sean and Yahui, we have two people who were Yeah, yeah we have talk about two. That a little bit? Well, I, th I mean, from my perspective, I think yahui has been working with one and we don't want to merge their projects together. So it would probably be effective for myself and another mentor to mentor the um, Mabel. Um, just throw that out there as a idea. Okay. Who, who is the other one? Is it Taiwei? Mm -hmm. That's right. It okay. is Taiwei. Okay. Um, I'm seeing if it looks like Yahui dropped off. So could you maybe coordinate with, oh, there's Yahui again. Could I you? Can yeah. yeah, I can coordinate with Yahui. Maybe we can go out of the other items in the agenda because I think Mabel and um, Taiwei. Taiwei were possibly going to join this meeting at some point, so. Hello, I'm here. Okay, hey. so Yahui, you, have you been working with Taiwei for Google Summer of Code to this point? So what? On the way. Yahui, if um, if you can hear me, I think um, you've been working with Taiwei, and so I think to ensure that the students are each working on their own distinct project, I could work. I could work with um, Baturgia, Grimoire Lab, and um, Mabel um, on a parallel project. Um, as Mabel proposed. Okay. Oh, so you um, you would actually be comfortable working with Grimoire Lab, not Augur, with Mabel? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I've been I've been familiarizing myself. <clears throat> okay. Okay. And Taiways would also be on Grimoire Lab as well, right? Yeah, but I, I think there there's a lot of room for interpretation on this metric, and okay. so I strongly suspect that having two students working on a similar project will not be a conflict and trying to coordinate students on the same project just isn't fair to them. Okay. Um, okay, that's cool. Um, does that work, Yahui? Yeah, we're not gonna get Yahui. Yeah, um, and I, actually, I see Taiwei and Mabel have joined. So, yeah. so Mabel, we were talking about the Google Summer of Code kind of as we talked about last time, and your, <clears throat> excuse me, your um, main point um, mentor will be Sean, who's on this call. And so the- Okay. Yep, and so the two of you can coordinate, and it seemed like based on the conversation last time, you, you were inclined to do the conversion rate work using Grimoire Lab, is that correct? Yeah. Okay, right on also not a problem. So Sean, <clears throat> excuse me. So you and Sean can just kind of coordinate from this point forward, um, just in terms of kind of mapping out the project based yeah. on what you submitted and all that kind of stuff. If that it, works, if for, that you. works okay. for you. So I would still be able to get like Grimoire lab specific yep. help. Yeah. 
I would work with Grimoire Lab on the parts that I don't understand yet. Um, they've been, they're very helpful. Um, they may not have a person as totally dedicated, but I, I, th I think they'll be support. They've been supportive in the past. And so I'm, I'm not really worried about it. And one of my tasks is actually to get more familiar with Grimoire Lab. <clears throat> okay. So. Okay, right on. And then, uh, Taiwei, I don't know if you can hear me as well. It sounds like, uh, yeah, I can hear you. Okay, yeah. great. So, um, your, it looks like your main mentor will be uh, Yahui, also working on the Grimoire Lab uh, platform, if that's okay with you. That's okay. Okay, wonderful. All right, great. So then um, maybe the, the other thing to just kind of make sure is, Sean, that you and Yahui also just kind of coordinate. You yeah, know I mean? so absolutely, you yeah, to make sure that we're, yeah, 100%. Okay. Okay. Um, not, not worried about that at all, but okay, great. Uh, thank you. Um, maybe one, uh, one quick other thing on summer of code slash season of docs. Our evals, I'm kind of looking at you, Elizabeth, our evals for season of docs are due like today through the next Four One day, days, I think, like yeah. that. Um, can you, are you planning on submitting those or? I'm planning on submitting the one for the students that I'm mentoring. And I think we had, do we have three students there? Oh, I think two, it's a root, is it three? Might yeah. be two. Yeah, okay, I'm good, I'm not misremembering that. Okay. <laughs> so it's Shoya and Ruth, and who's the third? Do you remember? No, um, they're working on um, something. Augur, Augur. Yeah, Augur. it's uh, yeah, it, I, yeah. I've been talking to him twice a week. Um, okay, he's one of our he's one of our. Are you, are you, wait a Satyam is his name. Okay, cool. Okay, so season of docs. Sean will submit one, and then what about? With Shaya and yeah, I, I can submit that. They're, they're okay. I think they're due technically on Monday, like anytime between now and Monday. Yeah, exactly. And, that. and that um that actually reminds me, Shoya, we uh you and Ruth and I need to like connect with each other, I think, on a few different levels. So um I'll get with you off offline of this meeting. Okay. Yeah, I'm uh me and Ruth, we um we meet two weeks um two weeks a time and uh we will have a discussion tomorrow actually to discuss the structure because we just finished the uh finished the, the review of the old version of the handbook can i well never mind i'll ask sean later it's okay i'll ask sean later but thank Rolf. you yeah. okay and elizabeth is that are you kind of hinting at like the work that's happening for the knowledge base and the like just keeping yeah. all that aligned Okay. Community handbook knowledge base together. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, because Shoya, they're 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 kind of a few moving parts on the the website and the knowledge base, and we just want to make sure that like you and Ruth aren't kind of going like working that way, and then the website's kind of going a different way or something. Um, hey, oh, go yeah. ahead. Yeah, I actually I I do had a doubt. I know uh, something about the knowledge base. It, in the community and I wonder uh, if that's uh, where we want to put the handbook um, finally. I think so. Elizabeth, you can. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're gonna have to talk about it. And also, Sean, there's like now three different versions of the handbook and I don't know which one is which. I don't know which one is the like final one. Because there's um, two different read the docs th ones and then okay. our original one. So the read the docs one, I'll me get you the, there's just one of that. One was my initial experiment and the other is the actual one. I'll get you that right now. Okay. I just want to make sure, cause I wanted to um, connect okay. that with Shoya and Ruth and make sure that they were working from the right version. And yeah. And yeah. I have some changes to make to it too, before I go on vacation. So yeah. Yep. You got it. 
Yeah. Thanks everyone. Sorry. To, uh, <laughs> no, it's uh, it's important. It's good. It's good because I think it's important. It's the link or, to Chaos Community Handbook. I'll send it to you in Slack, Elizabeth. Can you also put it in these minutes? Sure. Thanks. Yeah, you bet. Okay. Um, just a note: we have uh, Chaos Asia Pacific Community Lead uh, Shoya has agreed to to do that. Yay! <laughs> so that's wonderful. <laughs> And I think community lead is the the word that that we're kind of settling on. So that's the title that we that we use here. So Shoya, it's I mean I, you've done a lot of this work prior anyway. You know what I mean? Working with a lot of folks in in China. Um, so just so you know, Ruth, um, you know Shoya that Ruth is the community lead for Chaos Africa, right? Yeah, I know that. So you may want to just talk to her just about like what she's doing and just kind of where she's thinking and then the two of you will also connect with elizabeth as community manager so this is it's kind of a group of people so it's a really awesome group of people yeah um, i'm flattered and i really appreciate that uh, by the way i know um uh uh when the chaos africa uh, sorry it seems my network Okay, uh, oh, I, I, I realized that uh, there is a Twitter account of Chaos Africa, and I wonder if we need to set up that kind of account for Chaos Asia Pacific. Um, mm -hmm. One of the reasons we haven't think about that because, <laughs> you know, because of the network, network issue, many of the people in China, they won't visit Twitter. Instead, instead we have like something like a WeChat official account. So it's up to you as a community lead. It's um, so if WeChat is the way to go, then then WeChat is the way to go. That's no problem. If you think that WeChat is the best platform um, for, for China and for Asia Pacific, then please, by all means, that's a, and we don't have to, as far as Twitter goes, if you don't think that like I have here, Asia, Chaos, Asia Pacific, if you don't think that would be helpful, then there's really no reason for us to run that account. So totally okay. up to you. This is, we're trying to, <laughs> you get the decisions are yours. So you just let us know if you want to set that up and if you think it would be valuable. Sure, thanks. Yep. Um, and then you may also want to talk with, um, with Ruth, we're talking about some some branding stuff because we're kind of redesigning some of the chaos, not the logo, but just like some of the artwork around the logo. And if if there's things that you want to do, you know, like banners for the web page, ban Twitter banners, like a WeChat banner, you know. We but, we do want a like something like a logo logo. This. Okay, I can talk to I can talk with Ruth um, yep. tomorrow, actually. Okay. okay. And just to add to that, uh, one thing that did come out of the web content meeting, whatever day that was, or maybe it was yesterday. Um, we, we, I think are planning to have a separate page on the chaos website for chaos Asia Pacific, and one for chaos Africa. So you I will have a place to kind of put everything that pertains to the community that you're running, if that makes sense yeah absolutely okay we just don't, aren't sure like where it in the website it will be like what under what heading but def, I, i'm pretty sure we landed on having your own separate page for that i think so too yep okay all right uh cool so and i, I put this isn't something that has to like happen right now it's not like all of a sudden you you just must do all the things that's not <laughs> that's not how this is so just Take your time um, and as you think about community building. And then also, um, maybe just one last thing is, is, like we said, kind of make the decisions that are um, important for community for you. And, and we're here to help. So it's, it's, we're here to support. So think that way. All right. Um, John, could you mute for a second? Yeah, I don't think it's me, but yeah, I'll mute, see if it's me. No, oh, no, I didn't I mute yet, and it was not me. <laughs> All right, cool. All right. Um, so thank you, Shoya. That's awesome. Um, I, I just guessed it was you because you have a lot of those like 
equipment things. Often, yes. Beep in. <laughs> Beep and blown. Yep. <laughs> Randomly in the background. All right. Um, let's see. So we have one of the things that I would like to do today is um, we've been talking a lot about just kind of the structure of the metrics model repository. We've been talking a lot about, um, you know, like the implementation folder and the data folder, you know, that whole, this whole conversation. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a good conversation. I think there's a, a pull request from Yahui in there about some from structural things. Um, but one of the things that we, we need to get into the, the, um, the spreadsheets, I'm sorry, into the repository are the actual metrics models themselves. Um, so, so kind of, it's like the markdown file that is the metrics model that kind of describes what the model is about. And there's a link that I have right here on the spreadsheet. You're more than welcome to click it. And I can also just share it here. Uh, but these are the metrics models that we've been kind of tracking. And I'm sorry if I miss some, please feel free to add a row if, if I have missed anything. Uh, but these are the metrics models that we have kind of in progress. And so we've been doing kind of a few things, right? Like I said, we've been working on the GitHub repository. We've been thinking about how the metrics models should be like implemented, you know, Sean, like with the Jupyter notebooks, that kind of stuff. But I think we also have to get back to just building the models themselves, <laughs> like what the actual yeah. markdown file that, that describes the model. Um, so I, I was going to propose today that we actually start doing this a little bit, that we return to the metrics models themselves. So for example, like the metrics model for event badging, right? The why it matters, the user stories, the metrics that are in the model, um, the insights and the insights drawn from the model. Like we, we need to start building these styles of documents again, because these documents will end up in the repository from the metrics model repository that actually describes what the model is about. Um, so would people have an interest in, in kind of going into this list and, and um, kind of grabbing a model to start working on? Yuhui, do you have a question? I see your hand is raised, but you're, I can't hear you. And I'm guessing nobody else can either. All right. You who we just ch ch chime in when or speak up when put in a document. Yeah. Oh, that's that's never mind. That was me. What'd you do? No, forget it. <laughs> <laughs> it's been forgotten. Um. So would people have an interest in just taking like 10 minutes to take a, in, to take a look at this sheet and kind of, kind of take ownership of one of these metrics models to build out or work with two people or something like that on, on these metrics models? Some of them need to be put into the new template. Some need more information. We just, we need to document these, <laughs> we just need to get them on paper, so. Silence, I'm asking, Yeah, I, I, I'm asking for I'm work. <laughs> I, I, I think you have to ask to post a comment in the chatting, chatting room. Okay, so uh, Yehui is also talking that... about that PR, yep. Right. Okay, so it looks like we could take a look at that PR. Yuhui, yeah. do you, could you put in the chat? Do you think that PR yeah. should be merged prior to doing what I'm proposing? Let me take a look. I think it can. I think this is what we talked about last time. Yeah. So, Sean, if you um, want to go ahead and do that. Yep. I'm getting in there right now. Oh, yeah. I actually, um, 
I've reviewed this and so yeah, you commented good. on it. Yeah, I was waiting for. Um, yeah, I didn't take a look at it. It's okay. Not yet, anyway. I think it's good to go. It makes it's exactly what we discussed last time with some improvements and. Okay. I think it's time to press forward. Okay. <laughs> right on. Hmm. So it is merged. Thank you. So Sean, are there or anybody? Are there any metrics models on this list that you have a particular affinity for <laughs> that you like? <laughs> I was gonna try to myself work on DEI event badging. I'm interested in handle the community activity metrics model because I know okay. uh, what um, maybe Ye Hui and Jun uh, the way they propose it is based on uh, the scorecard. Uh, uh, no, the the crit critic critic. Sorry, I, I couldn't yeah. um, pronounce that right now. It's a uh, 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 a way that OpenSSF measure it. Yep. And we um, our lab we have uh, always struck struggle for a way to measure activity, and we can. Um, like merge the the thoughts on on this one cool so could you show you could you kind of help then i do think there is an existing doc right? yeah i re i read that before and yeah and i i've actually worked on it too so could you like get that doc in here and then mm -hmm. like just see if it aligns with the template which we have have the link to the template up here oh i'm noisy <laughs> That's okay. And some mesh module like safety and funding. 30, 33, 30, 34. Okay. Yeah, we, we already implement a part of a metric module like um, safety and the funding. Okay. Yeah, um, I remember the 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 funding metric model already merged by Chunxi. Is it okay? Hold on, let me take a look then. Yeah, yeah, we already have funding metric model in our in our GitHub repo. Coming back here. Share my screen. So, the implementations funding implementation. Yeah, yeah, this is funding by a batch and C. Yeah, so <laughs> I think what we're trying to get here is in this folder okay we would have something called funding.md okay and Just that please. yeah and that would essentially be a document similar to this that contains why why the funding metric model matters who the user stories who would actually care about this metric model? Okay, we we will we could add uh, Chunqi in. Okay. And funding and uh, add me to safe, safety. <clears throat> Great. So it's it's really just about creating the documents that describe the model. Because I think we have, we're starting to get folders that um, have like Jupyter notebooks and sample data, but we, we need that that top level document yeah. that describes it. Yeah. <clears throat> okay. Any others? Anybody else have an interest? I can work on community welcomingness, but I don't want to do it alone because I'm going to be gone for vacation for a while. So if it's just me, it'll see. You know, I mean, we've built that model. So I think maybe I could help to develop the actual metric 
description, metric model description. Awesome. Which you probably should have done first, but and it, it's look at it, it's here, like we we have it. I think it needs a little bit more fleshing out and organization yes. following Yahoo's scheme, though. Yeah. Yes, exactly, and it needs to follow the the um, the template a little bit more. Yeah, like right now it's off of the template. Yeah, it predates that template, I think, is part of that. Yeah. Yes. Okay. And, yeah, and, the, and the about about the community uh, community activity metric module and 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 it looks like we already have a community activity and description doc and uh, implementation here we go maybe maybe we already have a um, doc about uh, community so then so maybe, maybe, maybe this just needs to be cleaned up a little bit um, I think uh, we could add Ye Hui in community activity because uh, he already implemented yep. it and uh, already have the um, already maybe, yeah already have it and uh, in in Naib he already add it in the new uh, category. Okay, but it's not. In the, in, in Yehu's PR, yeah. The newest PR, he already add uh, community. Oh, context areas, ecosystem. Yeah, we're gonna need to clean this up a little bit. Just to close the close the PR, the you could. I think Sean yeah, just merged it. Yeah, yeah. I did, Sean yeah. just merged PR. Yeah, in this PR, in this PR, we already have community activity. Oh, it's right so, here. Yes. Gotcha. Yes, we already have it. So then, what we need. And we have a def definition and uh, also have implementation. Oh, okay, great. Okay, so it was there. Okay, so yeah. great. Oh, okay, wonderful. Yes, yes. So I'm not sure we okay. so have this, another. So we this need another. <clears throat> so... Show you. It looks like it's done. So, you... <laughs> congratulations! You signed up for a completed task. <laughs> that is genius. Straight shooter with upper management written all over you. <laughs> <sighs> all right, look at that. Maybe Xiao Xiao Ya could review it. <laughs> yeah. Give some give some comment. Oh. Okay, this is great. This is exactly what we need, though. This is precisely it. So. Um, so it's like having the description, this definition folder, I like this, around community activity. And then the implementations folder, which is the algorithm data insights and data. Okay. All right. So then Elizabeth and Sean, does that make sense for you too with like community welcomingness? You I think get so, yeah. You'd get yes. basically this document <clears throat> kind of into the right template and cleaned up a little bit. Yep. And then yep. that would go into uh, wherever we have. We're going to have to clean up this repo a little bit, but there would be a new folder here called definition, and you'd put the metric model in there, that markdown file in there. Got it. Cool. Got it. And I'll do the same for DEI event badging. Um, any others that in, in June and Chengchi, it looks like maybe safety and funding could benefit from the same the same thing. And so that would give us kind of five, yeah. okay, five metrics models that we can talk about. Um, and have which would be great <laughs> so i feel like we're close on so many of these we just need to like 
focus and kind of get them organized in such a way that we're ready to, to release them. Yeah, Adam, yeah, yeah, Adam. <clears throat> All right. And then issue handling, does anybody know about this one? Sean, does this look familiar at all to you? Yeah, we discussed this one with Yahui a long time ago. Okay. Yeah, like in the fall. So, I mean, issue handling is, it is, I mean, it's, yeah, I mean, I think that's a useful metric model. It's in one of those weird spaces where we're trying to measure issue responsiveness and other metrics models. This would this represents a more granular view of specifically the things around issues. Okay. And in that way, I think it is independently useful. Okay. Maybe we'll put this on the like, um, like first. Let's mm -hmm. get these six done. These definitions done. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could uh, provide. How are you to do handle that uh, about this uh, metric model? For the issue handling? Yeah, yeah, we have, uh, we already have some original debt about this to handle. Okay. Yeah. We, if you have some starters on that, that would be great to start. Yeah, you, you, you could add Ye, Ye Hui and, and me in okay. um, issue handling. Okay, and then the, the last one, thank you, June. Um, the last one is project engagement. Yeah, for uh, project engagement. Oh. oh, project popularity. This is that one. Oh, I, I pro provided it. <laughs> I proposed it. So we should probably, whoops, uh, what am I doing? Do we have, is this anywhere in the repo, June? Or is this currently just sitting here? Um, no, not, not, not submitted it. Okay, maybe I'll take a look at this. Okay. Oops, because you, you, you're taking a look at a lot as well. All right, so this is great because it looks like we actually finished one today. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, and we have a couple people kind of assigned to to kind of lead the different definitions, these definition documents of the metric model, following the template that we have here. And so, um, my suggestion is is for the the definition component of it, like for June and Sean and Elizabeth, that we that just create a, a Google Doc at this point, or if there is one, just worry about updating that Google Doc. Let's not worry about getting it to the repo at the moment. And then once we settle on the definition, we can kind of worry about merging it in to the repository. All right, cool. And then because we're not meeting in two weeks, maybe we could just start this work and communicate through the metrics model Slack channel as to like doneness or um, questions that you might have or anything like that. And so for anybody else on this call, if you want to just follow along in the Slack channel on the metrics model, uh, the metrics model channel in, in Slack um, and join in on any of these six that we have kind of moving forward at this point. Uh, that would be great. All right. I think that's a way to move forward. Awesome. So see, I even put in here, that was fun, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> we just we just need to get these these down a little bit. So all right, let's move on to the the, the next thing. Um, the chaos metrics mind map and knowledge base. 
I'm not sure who put this in here, but whoever did. I just put that one. Uh, this is actually a, a, an internal resource. As you can see, the link has NextLab 2.7. Uh, we use this um, platform. That, uh, it's an online, uh, it has online mind map feature to organize all the metrics we had into a mind map. Um, uh, but it doesn't have to uh, end up like this, like on this um, platform or uh, I just think mind map would be a good idea to gather all the metrics we have and um, integrate into uh, the knowledge base or put it on a website or somewhere else. Is the is a mind map, is it like, is this um, a static image? Is it searchable uh, in any way? You can interact it with it right now, but it can also be, um, you can also import um, PNG or GPG uh, file. Uh, you can click on the uh, numbers. On the numbers, yeah. Yes, I think if you, yeah, it doesn't support version control. That's why I said we don't have to use this platform as the final tool to um, visualize the mind map. But uh, this is just an initial idea to um, put a mind map in to chaos knowledge base or on the website. We've seen this, something like this before. I think, didn't Yahoo do something like this maybe a long time ago? Does anybody remember that? Yeah, mm -hmm. I remember. I think that's King and William. Oh, <laughs> and okay. That, yes, that was generated uh, use mark map, uh, which okay. you can use a, a C, CL, CLI tool to generate a markdown file okay. to an image and Yes, you can use a markdown file to um, uh, and put it on uh, under a repository to do the version control stuff. What if we? Um, so you you think Shoya, you think this would be useful for the metrics and the metrics models both? Yes, because um, we kind of have a very hierarchy structure. Mm -hmm. um, regarding the metrics model and mm -hmm. metrics. I think this is a way um, for us to like, um, it's a good way for both newcomers and uh, to know uh, the structure of um, metrics we have and also a way for us who are familiar with this metric maybe to find, to find them and to review them. I like I like this. What what do you think about maybe starting with metrics models? So this would be like chaos metrics models, and then like this one evolution would be like whatever community activity. You know what I mean? And then you would click on community activity, and it would show you the whatever the five metrics that we use to define community activity. Yes, absolutely. Um, but. Another um, another thing I want to discuss is uh, where are we? Where uh, maybe in the future where uh, where do we wish to put something like this? Right. I Elizabeth, do you have thoughts on this? Like I I like the I like how you could take a look at a metrics model. <laughs> you know what I mean? Click on yeah. the model and then see the metrics that we're using, or click on like event badging, and then you can click on it and quickly see the metrics that are in there. Elizabeth, do you have thoughts on like maybe where this could end up in the website? I think that it, yes, I really like this a lot um, as far as the visualization goes. Um, I I don't I don't know. I, I kind of want to put it at the top of the metrics page, but I don't know like what that's going to look like at the end if we're breaking out all those metrics into different pages. Like I'm not really sure how that's going to go, but I feel like this is a really 
great way to just show the interaction between them and give someone who has never seen any of our metrics a quick high level picture of it. So I feel like it needs to be somewhere in the knowledge base um, where somebody who is just like, tell me what metrics I should be using or, or I want an overview, I want an introduction. That's where it should go, but I don't know where that is. <laughs> Does that make sense? I think this should uh, this would be an uh, uh, an ongoing discussion, and actually, me myself also uh, still need to find a uh, maybe a um, a better tool to illustrate all the metrics or um, for a metrics model. How could um, how to maybe to it to interact with it. Because right now on this platform, it only support, if you want to um, import, uh, uh, sorry, if you want to like to uh, export it, you, you what do you get would be a stat static image. It might be worth having a conversation with Kevin to see if he has any any thoughts on that and to see if there's anything that we might be able to easily integrate with with the website maybe maybe wordpress has a plugin or something i don't know yeah i like that um yeah kevin should certainly know we had a uh was it yesterday a conversation about the the website and the knowledge base about searchability of it and like how we can actually search the knowledge base. I'm wondering if this could be like an approach for browsing the knowledge base. Because like right now you can't, we're trying to think about how to help people navigate the many things that we have. I mean, search is certainly one feature, but this is pretty helpful from a browsing perspective in my mind. Yes, I agree. It would be even better if uh, it's post hyperlink that you just click on a metric that which can redirect you to the page of that metric. Yeah, I agree. I think it would definitely have to be interactive. Although there could we could have a version that was static, uh, maybe that we put in our PDF, like at the top of the PDF, just to give like a high level here's how they all work and then keep going if you want to read more but um yeah i really like it oops oh my gosh you can watch me misspell all the words <laughs> <laughs> you need coffee man. I, 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 have, I don't know <laughs> I just want to misspell them all now. <laughs> well, the joys of people watching me type. <laughs> um, kind of from a browse, I think it, this is from a browse perspective. Because right now, the way that, I mean, the way that you browse the metrics is you go to the metrics page and you type control F and you just start searching on the the word that you're sort of looking for, which is not a not a really good way to, to browse that that giant page. The only question I have, and sorry if I missed someone saying this, um, but are we still considering um, kind of standardizing the focus areas across the focus group. Mm -hmm. We are. So that might affect how we put this chart together or this map together. If we want to have it <clears throat> in a different way of like, here's all the things, like, you, you know what I'm saying? Like you could also do, here's the way we do, we deal with people, for instance. So people would be one of the groups and then off of that would be like here are the metrics in common and blah 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 you know what i'm saying i do okay so um, common oh, i'm sorry go ahead maybe it uh, could like a landscape um 
you you can see some other uh, companies they trying to describe their um, service or some other things. Then maybe they had a big landscape and to describe uh, to this to describe their metric to describe all metric and uh, maybe uh, maybe we could have some hug 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 hub. Are you thinking like those landscape maps? Yeah, not like this. Like, I'm thinking my mind immediately goes to like what the CNCF does with landscape maps. That's what I think of when I think of landscape maps. That's do you have a link to that, Matt? I would like to see what that looks like. Yeah, I guess I can Google it. That's Do you mean they ecosystem? use some standard open source, or they use some standard open source software to generate those. So everybody knows about the one for the CNCF, but there's also one for the To Do Group. There's one for LFAI. There are like a couple dozen of these landscape maps. So we could always, if we wanted to build one, if we wanted mm -hmm. to do something like that, which I don't know that I would recommend, but there is. <laughs> The project is open source. We could we could do that if we wanted to. You know it, Elizabeth. Yeah, I didn't know that. That's what that was called. Yeah, that's a little uh, overwhelming to me when I look at that. Well, the CNCF one is yeah. crazy. Uh, it's like, uh, here's every open source project in the LF plus yeah. a few extras. Yeah. Join open source. Just look at this map and <laughs> jump right in. Find your. Where's Waldo? <laughs> but I do kind of like the concept of it where it's, you know, kind of like a grid almost and you have, you know, different, I don't know. Okay, well, the reaction seems to be pretty positive and thinking about ways yeah. to, to, to display the, the things that we have. Um, so just to that final point, I know we're at the end of time, but Elizabeth, when you were talking about standardizing the focus areas, Common has kind of done this with contributions, time, people, and place. And the idea is that, for example, event, or I'm sorry, DEI would also have contributions, time, people, and place. <laughs> and value would also have contributions, time, people, and place. We'd have a selection of about 10 different focus areas that are kind of standard, but um, th that's the that's the goal, and then your point, Elizabeth, I think was like show me all the things associated with people. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Or at no least problem. give someone the option to view this that way. map in a different way. Yeah. 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 Show me all the I people really like things this. coming from whatever working group it might be. Yep. Okay. Cool. All right. Um, a reminder. We don't have a meeting in two weeks, so we have a meeting again in four weeks. So we're taking a little bit of time off. For those of you that are going to OSSNA, uh, enjoy yourself you. in Austin. Yes, and yes. Uh, for those of you coming into this country, there's no longer proof of negative test required. <laughs> So letting it all hang out now here. Yeah, that was pretty <laughs> exciting, except that I'd already paid for it, but yeah. fine, whatever. I don't have to take it. Who else is going to the Open Source Summit? I'll be there. Sweet. Yeah, and I know we should probably maybe on the general channel or something like that, like put a call out for coordinating something. Yeah. Often. We should get together for, I don't know, lunch or drinks or something. Right on. All right. Thank you, everybody. It's good to see you all. And we Thanks, will see everybody. you in the meeting or we'll see you in a couple of weeks or see you in Austin, whatever it might be. All Bye. Right. See you. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Thank you. See you. Bye. Peace. Bye.